We saw when we added these tags to some of the words that ended with a vowel sound like abu and ahu, that there were some changes to some of them to make it easier to say. For example, when we added the tag for your to a male, ak, when we added that to abu, we simplified it, and your father talking to a male was... Abuk. Abuk, that's it. And the same happens on the verbs. So if a verb ends in a vowel sound, I'll give you an example. What was we saw? Shufna. Yeah. Shufna ends with na, a. So just as we simplified ak to k when we put it on abuk, so we're going to do the same, but we're going to hit the end. So we're going to say shufna, and then we're going to put the ak on the end to mean we saw you talking to a male, which would be... Shufnak. With a little longer ending. Listen to Mahmoud. Shufnak. So the vowels actually got a bit longer because we've hit the end. Shufnak. We saw you. Shufnak. Talking to a male. We saw you yesterday. Shufnak embere. Shufnak embere. What would we do if we were talking to a woman then? We saw you yesterday. Shufnik. What happened when we put ik on the end of abu? Abuki. Yeah. So you've flipped it around to ki. So keep that in your head and bring it over. We saw you talking to a woman. Shufki. So what's we saw? Uh, shufna. Okay, which becomes, the ending is going to be stretched a bit, but the basic verb is shufna. So we saw you talking to a woman. Shufnaki. That's it. Shufnaki. Shufnaki. Mahmoud. Shufnaki. We saw you today in the market talking to a woman. Shufnaki enaharda fisuk. Shufnaki enaharda fisuk. What was you visit in the present? You visit talking to a male. Izor. That's he visits. You got the right stem. We got enta t. Remember that t sound. Tizor. Yes, connected with you throughout Arabic t. Tizor. So if we put the b on the top, meaning you visit in general, it becomes. Bitizor. What about, do you visit her? Now run over to the side, pick up the tag for her, and stick it on the end. Do you visit her talking to a man? Bitizor her. That's it. Bitizor her? Do you visit her? What was often? The same word as many, a lot. Kabir, but with a t in the middle. Ah, that's it, yes. yes. Okay. Often is, Kutir. So, do you visit her often, talking to a man? Do you visit her often? Tizor ha kutir? Yes, but put the, make the bee come and land on the flower again, because ah. we're talking about often, so it's mm. a routine thing. But tizor ha kutir? Yes. But tizor ha kutir? And how would you ask a woman the same question? Do you visit her often? But you're asking a woman. Just by itself, would it be um, zorti? No, we're not in the past, oh, we're yeah. in the present. So we had tizor yeah. for enter, and now we want enti, tizor, tizori, tizori. Okay. So put the B on now. Be tizori. Okay, so that's do you visit talking to a woman? So now we want, do you visit her? So run and get the tag. Bitizori he? Yes, and stress the E. Bitizori he? Yes, often. Bitizori he? Katia? Bitizori he? One small Kitir. change to the tags that happens to the tag meaning my. How did we say my daughter? Binti. Yeah, so the tag for my is E. But when we go and get this tag and run over to the other side of the room to put it on a verb, we sort of trip and it bumps into your knee. 
and it becomes knee rather than e on the way over. So you trip up, <laughs> trip up over yourself, over your own tag, my. So when we want to say me, when we visit me, and we're running over to the other side of the room, then we say knee, because it's bumped into our knee. So how would you say, will you visit me talking to a man? Hat zorni. Hat zorni. When will you visit me? Hat zorni imta. Hat zorni imta. What about the same question, but to a woman, enti, you. When will you visit me to a woman? How are we going to change? Tzori. That's it. So now put the hat ah. on the beginning and the ah, knee on right. the end and hit the Hit the Hatazorini hat imta. Very good. Hatzurini imta. How did we ask a woman, did you see? Shifti. How, how are we going to ask her, did you see me? Shiftini. Yes, and hit the E of Shifti. Shiftini. That's it. Did you see me in the market? Shiftini fisu. Shuftini fisu. So what was I saw? Ashuf. Now that's I see. Put it into the past. It's the same as enter. Shuft. That's it. So how would we say I saw you talking to a male? Shuftak. I didn't see you talking to a male. Ashuftak. That's it. I didn't see you in the market talking to a male. Mashuftaksh isuk. In the market. Mashuftaksh fisuk. Mashuftaksh fisuk. Expressions such as Ibn Mahmud, Ibn Samir, meaning son of Mahmud, son of Samir. Umma Samira, mother of. Samira. In English, we use the word of or an apostrophe s. We could say Samira's mother, Mahmoud's son. But in Arabic, we don't need of or the apostrophe s. So that's something else we've thrown out of the window. We just put one word directly in front of the other and the meaning of of is understood. Ibn, Mahmoud, son, of, understood, Mahmoud. So how would we say Samir's daughter? Binti. Just daughter, Samir. That's all you have oh. to say. And the of is understood, daughter of Samir, but the of's gone out the window. So all you're saying is daughter, Samir. Bint, Samir. Where's Samir's daughter? Bint, Samir, fein. Bint, Samir, fein. And the little helping vowel, because we've got n, t, Bint Samir, Bint Samir, Bint Samir. If I want to say the manager's house, again I'll say house of the manager, but I've got rid of the of out the window, so I'm just going to say house the manager. Beit Mudir. I need the manager. Beit il Mudir. What you said originally was. House of a manager, a manager's house. Beit Mudir would be a manager's house. If you want to be specific and say the manager's house, you need to say Beitil Mudir. So what about the manager's house is large? Beit il Mudir Kibir. Beit il Mudir Kibir. And how would we say the boy's books? Books of the boy. Kitub il walad. Yes. Kutub il walad. Where are the boys' books? Kutub il walad fin. Kutub il walad fin. When we added tags to the end of feminine words that ended in a, like madrasa, nadara, school, glasses, there was a tied up T. What happened when we put a tag like e, meaning my, on the end of madrasa? The T springs out. And it becomes, my school is? 
Madrasti. That's it. So the T pops up and is pronounced Madrasti. The same happens when we put a feminine word ending with A directly in front of another one with the meaning of of. So, for example, if we wanted to say my son's school, we would say school, my son, school, of, understood, my son. But when we have that understood meaning of of, the T pops up. Because you think about it, it's all to do with possession. My school is to do with it's mine. And my son's school, it's my son's. It's all to do with the possession, the apostrophe S or the of. So if we say my son's school, we're going to say school, my son, but the T is going to pop up again. So how would we say my son's school? Madras tiben. Nearly. The T, it becomes a bit more like it. Madras sit. So my son is? Ibni. Okay, and when in front of that, we're going to put madrasit. Madrasit ibni. That's it, my son's school. Madrasit ibni. What about your son's school, talking to a male? Madrasit ibnik. Talking ibnak. That's it. Is your son's school large? Madrasit ibnak kabir. Kabira. Good, because it's madrasa we're talking about. Madrasit ibnak kibira. And glasses was nadara. Nadara, glasses. So when we put that in front, directly in front of another word like Samir, we want to say Samir's glasses, glasses of Samir, what will happen to nadara? Nadart Samir. Yeah, it's like more like it. When you put it directly in front, it becomes like an it. Nadarit Samir. Where are Samir's glasses? Nadarit Samir Fein. Nadarit Samir Fein. 